Fantastic Hell now has support for iOS 14 widgets on the iPhone and iPad and Big Sur widgets on the Mac. They look great. Let me show you how they work. I'm on the iPhone right now, so I'm going to long press on the screen, and you can long press anywhere where there's not an existing widget or an app, and that gets you into this jiggly mode. And then you hit the plus sign in the upper left corner, and you can scroll down to Fantastical. Once you do that, you get a list of all the available widgets to you. Uh, there's a bunch of them ranging from small to large sizes, giving you different bits of information. Like this is the small size widget that just gives you today's date. I'm going to tap the add widget button at the bottom and you can see it's going to add it right to my screen for me. And then I've got a big widget showing me the calendar. In addition to showing me the date, if I tap on it, it opens up the Fantastical app for me, which is great. But there's more. Let's go back into the widget mode. And this time, instead of scrolling down, I'm just going to type Fantastical and to search it. Now I'm right back there. You can see they've also got a small size one that shows you the current date without the red stripe. Then they've got this medium size one that shows you the current month and today's date and also the weather down here in the lower left corner. Let's go ahead and put that one on the screen. This time I'm just going to tap and drag on it rather than click the add widget button. And when I tap done, you can see there it is on my home screen showing today's current date, the month view, and also the weather. Now, if I tap on the widget, it's going to open up Fantastical. But if I tap on the weather, it's going to open AccuWeather for today. Let's add some more. You can also get a small size widget that shows the current month or a medium size widget that shows the current month and the next month. They've got a small size widget that also shows your current events. And all of these event style widgets are really useful if you do time blocking so you can see what's on your agenda for the day. There's a small one, there's a medium one. They have an add event button so you can just add that to your home screen. And if you wanna add a new Fantastical event, you just tap on the widget and it opens up the screen to add a new event. There's more. And there's a medium sized widget that shows you the current day and the event for today instead of the month calendar. I find that one very useful. It's a nice way to use up one third of your screen. And I find this one can actually replace several because it's got the current day, it's got the event, so I can remove these two. And you'll note this one also adds in the lower right corner, this little plus button. And if I tap on that, then it opens up the create new event window as well. So that's a very useful medium sized widget. If you long press on any of these, you can edit them as well. So I'm gonna edit this widget and you can see there's a bunch of settings. I can choose the appearance. Mirroring system means it's just gonna mirror the system appearance, whether it's light or dark, or use the Fantastical color scheme. So you can change the way the widget looks. Uh, the calendar set allows you to choose which calendar set you're going to use. And if you've seen these other videos, you know Fantastical has this great feature for calendar sets. I'm gonna have this one just show the Fantastical calendar now, and that'll change what it shows. Um, you can have it show all events or timed events only. You can have it show tasks or not show tasks. And you can also have it, that weather thing, you can turn it off or on. So I'm gonna turn it off and um, here we go. I'm gonna turn that off and you see the weather now is no longer there. But if I go back to edit widget, turn the show weather back on, then it'll be on the next time I show it to you. And that quick action plus button, I like it to add event, but you could also use it to add a task or search. So we're gonna leave it just as it is. And now once I go back to the screen, you'll see I've got that nice medium sized widget with my calendar events and the weather and the add event button in the lower right corner. But there are still more Fantastical widgets. So let's go look at those. Now, next to that, they've got a small size widget that does give you the current events and weather, but not today's date. Then there's another medium size one that doesn't give you today's date, but gives you the events, but gives you more room to see the events. And then we get to this large size widget. And I could make the case that this is one of the best large size widgets you can put on your phone. Because when you've got a large size calendar widget, you've got all of your upcoming events shown to you right there on your screen. This one shows today's and tomorrow's weather. It has the new event button in the lower right corner and all of the events coming up. I really like this widget. Let's look at more though. 
There's also a medium-sized widget that puts the calendar on the left and your upcoming events on the right. And here's my favorite Fantastical widget. On the top half, it gives you the current month and the current day, and below that, it gives you a list of the upcoming events. This is the one I keep on my home screen. I'll go ahead and add that, and you can see it looks great at the top of your home screen. Every time I open my phone, I know today's date, I have a view of the month, I have a view of the weather, and I can see what my upcoming events are. I really like this widget. Now, if I long press on this one, there is one additional setting that I didn't show you in the prior, and that's this heat map. Whenever you have a month view, if you turn the heat map on, it's gonna show you a heat map of how busy your days are going forward, which can help you lay out plans and, and know how busy you are. I covered heat maps in other videos in this video series. Now, when it comes to widgets, this is not Fantastical's first rodeo. They made widgets before iOS 14, and you can still support those in iOS 14 and later. If I go down to the bottom of the Today View screen and tap the Edit button, and then click Customize, then I can see a list of all the legacy widgets for apps on my phone, one of which is Fantastical. If I hit the Plus button, I can go ahead and add that, and that'll be down at the bottom, so I'll click Done. And there is the classic Fantastical widget that I've got um, installed on my phone now. Uh, frankly, I prefer the new one because it's updated, it looks beautiful, it's on my home screen. But if you want the classic one, you've still got it. Either way, these widgets are fantastic. Let's take a look at them over on iPad. Over on the iPad, Fantastical works the exact same way. Now, unfortunately, the iPad doesn't give us the same level of widget control that the iPhone has. We can only put them on the left side of the screen. And indeed, you can only put one large size widget to show up all the time. You have to scroll up to get access to other widgets. Uh, but I keep Fantastical's large size widget there as the main widget. Now, I can go ahead and look at additional Fantastical widgets, once again, the exact same way. We're going to hit the plus sign, and then we're going to go down to Fantastical. And you'll see you get the exact same set of widgets we just had over on the iPhone. They're all customizable, just like they are on the iPhone. And everything's the same, but you can only put them in the left column. If I want to go ahead and add one, I'll go ahead and put today's date. I'm just going to drag it over and put it right underneath there. And now I've got that there as well. If I drag down to show just the one, however, it's fantastic out. With Fantastical widgets on your iPhone and iPad, your calendars only get better.